Hey Robot Makers, I decided to try out Timu, the online store where you can shop like a millionaire. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's find out if they're game changers or wallet drainers. So I did a quick search for robots and clicked on anything that came up that was of interest and quite cheap. I was quite surprised it only took one week for this stuff to arrive. So here we go, this is the stuff that arrived in the packaging. You can see there's quite a lot of stuff shoved into one single package. There wasn't too much care taken with the packaging, quite a few of the boxes have got damage to them, but nothing that's actually ruined the robots. Quite excited about this particular robot, the pocket robot, as well as this larger walking robot. Let's see how they perform as we unbox them. Finally, there's this other one, which is a robot kit, and you can put this together a bit like an Airfix kit. So first up we have these digital calipers 98p, uh, I don't know what I was expecting for the price but I'm actually quite pleasantly surprised at the quality of these. It's not metal, it is carbon fibre so it's got a bit of a plasticky feel to it, however it is very accurate even if it's not quite as accurate as the metal ones I have there. I had quite low expectations for this and I wasn't disappointed, as in it's absolute garbage. The tiny solar panel that's on the top of the robot is directly connected to the motor and I confirmed with my multimeter there is no voltage coming to this whatsoever. I had slightly higher expectations for this robot, you can see there's quite a bit of damage to the box there but the robot itself is fine. It's quite a chunky robot and as I put this on the desk here and uh, switch the on button I realised we've got to put some batteries in here. None of these come with batteries, so just uh, three AA batteries. And once we switch this on, you can see that it does a bit of a dance, a bit of a walk. It's really, really loud. Uh, it's quite annoyingly loud and the choice of music isn't particularly great either. This is all that it does. It doesn't do anything else other than this predefined sequence of shuffling backwards and shuffling forwards, uh, wiggling his arms and the light on. Uh, it's fun for about five seconds and then that's it. So for the price, not really worth it. Got lots of potential to hack this though, I can definitely see taking this apart, putting some servos in there and doing something a bit more interesting with it, because it's quite an interesting shape. This one is one of the most expensive robots of the, the set, at £10. Got slightly higher expectations of this one and uh, it looks quite nice on the desk there. This one requires a lot less batteries than the larger one we've seen, it's just a single AAA battery. I'm not sure how long the batteries will last for on this, but with this being a smaller robot and not having to carry them around as much weight, it probably doesn't require as much power as the larger one. So this one has a number of buttons on it. There's an on-off button on the top little switch, and then there is two buttons on the sort of ears of the robot. It has two wheels underneath, a little caster wheel, and he's got some lights. Also has a speaker and a microphone. So the rather surprising thing about this robot is that it plays a number of copyrighted songs. Hello. Do you like school? I like the gym class best. Basketball, soccer, tennis, badminton. Wow, I love them all. You standing there all by yourself. So this robot can do some very basic voice recognition. And they actually list the copyrighted songs that this robot can play. So okay, this isn't quite a robot, but it was really cute and it wasn't very expensive, so I thought I'd give this one a go. So this one does actually come with two sets of batteries. There are some batteries already inside there. It takes three of these tiny little batteries and it comes with a spare set as well, so that's quite neat. And pretty bright. And for around $3, I think it's $2.99, the build quality is really good. The batteries don't last too long though if you leave this on overnight. So this looks a bit like a Lego kit, but it's uh, more like an Airfix kit where you have to twist off all the different pieces and build up the robot following the instructions. One of the unusual things on in the instructions is that it comes with these little polythene bags and a set of stickers, and it'll tell you to take all the different pieces off and put them into the individual little bags with the sticker on, you can see there. Uh, and this takes quite a while to do. I think I filmed over an hour before I realized uh, I need to check, is this actually gonna work as a robot? 
So the little solar panel that comes with this suffers the same fate as a little mini car, as in there is nowhere near enough power coming from this solar panel, even with the strong studio lights. I took it outside on a bright day as well, and I still didn't get anywhere near enough voltage for this. However, I do think this robot is quite fun. There's lots of little components to put together to build a robot, and there are quite a few different kits to build too. So here's my official verdict on each of these. The digital calipers are well worth the price, and I'd recommend you get a set of these for the price. The mini car, however, utter garbage. Wouldn't recommend this, certainly not for £2.99. Smart robots are quite fun to look at, but you get bored of this very, very quickly. Even as a young child, I can imagine this would be quite boring. The pocket robot was probably the most fun out of all of them, and if they was going to recommend any of them, it would be this one. However, for £10, it's a little bit pricey. And the puppy light, absolutely get this one. Fun for £1.99. Overall, I think Timu is a pretty crazy, weird site. <laughs> if you haven't checked it out, I recommend you have a, at least have a look at it and see what you think. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I shall see you all next time. Bye for now.